With crypto markets declining recently, the question becomes, is it still profitable to keep on mining, especially in these tough market times? Stay tuned to find out. Okay, so most of you might know that cryptocurrencies have been declining and crashing recently. So the question now becomes, is it still worth it? Is it still profitable to be crypto mining on your CPUs, on your GPUs? Let's find out right now. So on my screen here, you can see the Unminable website. So I'm just going to start with Unminable. If you don't know what Unminable is or how to use Unminable and mine with Unminable, do check out my other videos down in the description below to find out how you can use Unminable and start to mine with the Unminable pools as well to get paid out in other different coins. Just always bear in mind that on Unminable, you are actually mining things like Ethereum or Ethereum Classic or Ravencoin, or if you're using your CPUs, you're going to be mining the Monero coin, and then you are going to be getting paid out in any of the coins and tokens that you will be selecting from the coins section right here. So let's take an example. At the moment in the current situation where we are seeing the markets decline. Let's say I was to mine on the ET hash algorithm and get paid out in Solana. So I have my seven GPU mining rig that is capable of mining at 472 mega hash and I am using around 1500 watts in order to be able to achieve the 472 mega hash that I am getting on the ET hash algorithm. So make sure when using the unminable calculator that you always select the algorithm that you're going to be mining on. If you're using graphics cards that support Ethereum and ET hash, then you would select the first tab. If you have graphics card with less than six gigabytes of video memory, you would select either the ETC hash or Cal Pow algorithms and if you're using your CPU for mining, then you would click on the CPU section here and enter your hash rate here in order to calculate how many coins and tokens you're going to get paid out in. So in my case, it's ET hash, and I am doing 472 mega hash with my seven GPU mining rig. Here it's saying that per day, I should be getting an average of around 0.133 Solana coins per day which does not seem like a lot, but today the current Solana price, and if we go to the CoinMarketCap website, we can see here that the Solana price is at 82 euros and 46 cents. So if we calculate that real quickly and paste in the amount of coins I will be making times the 82 euros and 43 cents, actually 71 cents now, that is going to give me approximately 11 euros per day. And that is before deducting the electricity costs. Now I've already done the calculations for my electricity costs of my seven GPU mining rig in other videos. And that comes down to five euros and 50 cents per day for mining. So at the moment, this Solana coin will be giving me five euros and 50 cents per day of profit. Is it profit? Yes, it is still profit. I am not losing any money and the price of the coin could potentially go up again in the future because at the moment we are really at a low point in the crypto markets. So at the moment, as you can see on the charts, if I go to the seven day representation, you can see that it has crashed significantly from 121 euros down to the current price of 82 euros and 55 cents at the present time. Now, if we use whattomine.com as well, so here on what to mine, you can get an idea of the most profitable coin at the moment with the hardware that you are using. So again, here I'm going to put in under ET hash 472 mega hash, which is my hash rate. And as wattage, I'm going to put in 1500 watts because that is what I am currently using. And the cost for my electricity is at 20 US dollar cents per kilowatt. And I'm just going to calculate that. So here it should be 
Ethereum only because I'm going to calculate ET hash algorithm mining Ethereum directly, okay? So it's not mining Ethereum on the unminable pools. You can mine in Ethereum on unminable pools. So if I put in Ethereum here, I'm going to find the Ethereum coin. And here you can also mine Ethereum. I could also put in my 472 mega hash here. And here it would be saying that I would make 0.005. However, I do not recommend doing that if you have a graphics card that can directly mine Ethereum. If you don't have the hardware, if you have older hardware, or if you're just using your CPU, then sure, go ahead, use unminable and mine Ethereum that way because you don't have any other choice really. But it will take you some time in order to build up to the threshold to get paid out, okay? Now, on what to mine, if I was to compare mining on a mineable with my 472 mega hash 7 GPU mining rig, which is 0.005, to what to mine, on what to mine, here it's saying that if I mine Ethereum directly, I would be making estimated rewards of 0.0075, okay? So you can see the difference right there, 0.0075 versus 0.005 so immediately right there if you're mining on a pool such as for example ether mine or other pools even hero miners for example there are loads of pools out there that you can mine ethereum directly but you obviously need to have proper hardware in order to be able to do that which is pretty much a gpu that supports at least six gigabytes of video memory but even the gtx series graphics cards will be able to get the job done as well i've got two gtx 1070 video cards if you haven't checked the video on my seven gpu mining rig do do that in the link above or in the description below as well. So there I've shown you the difference between unminable and what to mine as well when it comes to mining Ethereum. And it's always better to mine directly if you can do that with the hardware you have. And here it's saying that after I deduct my electricity costs, it's going to give me an estimated profit of around 10 US dollars and 79 cents. And we've just checked Solana and we said that after deducting electricity costs, I was going to get around five euros and 50 cents. So if we convert this really quickly to Euro, that will be approximately nine euros and 56 cents. So if I mine Ethereum directly, best case scenario at the current price of Ethereum, and if we check the current price of Ethereum at the moment, it is at 2,144 euros. I would be making four euros more after deducting electricity costs. So I would be making nine euros and 56 cents. And that is profit after electricity because I converted the profit part. In actual fact, I'd be making almost $18, but obviously we need to de deduct the electricity portion of that as well. So. The answer is yes, it is still profitable to be mining. It is not as profitable as it was before, obviously, because the prices have gone down. But also bear in mind that there might be a couple of miners out there that are switching off their rigs as well, which could be a curse in disguise or it could be a blessing in disguise. When people are switching off their rigs and not mining on the network anymore, the difficulty starts to go down as well. However, depending on the pool you are mining, if there are less miners, it will be harder to find a block as well, which means that you might potentially be paid out less as well. So I do have another video on miners and pools that you can use, so be sure to check out my video on that as well. So it all depends on what's going to happen. When price does start to go down, people do tend to start fleeing, start selling off the coins. Miners might start switching off their rigs as well. And the good thing about that is that maybe the difficulty might start to go down a bit meaning that it would give you more of a chance to be able to submit more shares and actually get a bigger portion of the pie. However, depending on the pool you're mining on, it might also take you potentially longer because there are less people, less computing power resource together to help to find the blocks that you are mining for the tokens and coins that you are mining. So it's kind of a bit of a catch 22 scenario right there. 
So I do hope that you found this video useful. It is still profitable, it's less profitable, but don't give up. I mean, I still believe in cryptocurrency. I still believe in the application of several coins out there, like for example, Ethereum, and I do believe that they do have potential. Again, this is not financial advice, but this is just my own opinion, and I'm trying to just give you some insight on what you can do as well and hopefully help you to arrive at a better decision. I am currently still mining, and I'm actually still currently mining SafeMoon. I have been mining SafeMoon, I think, for the past two months now, non-stop, and now it's SafeMoon version 2. But I might switch over to Ethereum as well, because Ethereum will soon be gone, or it should be gone, by around summertime, and there will be the upgrade to the network where we will see proof of stake introduced and proof of work will no longer exist, meaning that then Ethereum will no longer be able to be mined and you can only just purchase it. So I feel that Ethereum will become harder to acquire and it could possibly be higher in value. So I will be trying to make the most of that and trying to harness and mine as many Ethereum coins as possible as well. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do so down below and smash that like button, hit the notification bell to be notified when new videos do come out on my channel. And until next time, take very good care of yourselves and thanks for watching.